Okay, let's talk about the feature removal tool. Now, the feature suppression we talked about does not make permanent changes to your geometry. Feature removal removes the feature from your geometry. If you use the feature removal tool and write the geometry out to a parasolid, uh, those features will no longer be there. So it uh, absolutely removes them. The kinds of things we can remove are loops or circular holes or slots. We're going to take a look at that. And one thing to remember is many times we want to remove holes and leave a point at the center of the hole so that the measure uh, leaves a node at that point so we can add a constraint, a bolted connection, whatever reason we have for that node. Uh, it can be placed there for us by just specifying leave a mesh point. I'm going to show you that. The curves, if we had an unwanted curve in geometry, we could remove that. Surfaces such as corner fillets, chamfers, holes, of course, removing holes, we can use the loops command. Blends, uh, this is uh, something that's been added in recent versions and works really well on sheet metal parts. And I've got one of those, it's a, a sheet metal, uh, some press brake parts, and we'll, we'll take a look at how that works. Or points. Um, removing unwanted breaks and curves. And uh, loops, curves, and surfaces, and blends can be limited by size so that you can select many features at once. I'm going to show you that as well because that's, that's pretty useful. All right, so we're going to go back to the uh, feature removal. And uh, I want to go back to the feature editing and just resize a couple of holes real quick to to show you, and uh, let's make this uh, 0.625, and I'm going to update these two holes, and let's go to our feature removal, and we're going to remove loops, um, and this time we are going to limit size. I want to show you this, because, um, turn that off for a second, I'll undo this, because this this uh, rectangular cutout is also considered a loop for this purpose. So if I grabbed all of my loops, if I just use the shift button and draw it, drag the box, it would remove all of my uh, features there. And, and that's not my, my purpose. I would like to just remove these holes along the flange and this small hole here. So what we can do is we can limit the size and, and we can also add a surface mesh point. And you'll see the, the effect of the surface mesh point. Uh, it's going to actually leave a point here on the surface for us. And I'm going to limit the size to anything smaller than 0.5. So now it's going to ignore my 0.625 holes. It's going to ignore my uh, beads. And it's going to ignore the slot. And you can see right here. turn the mesh off. It left a point there on the surface. Turn the elements back on and you can see it forced a node at that point. So again, if we went to our uh, mesh surface tool and chose this surface, you can see um, we would need to refine this a little bit, of course. Probably some uh, uh, mesh in there that needs to be uh, cleaned up. But you can see it leaves a node at each of those mesh points so that we have a node there to connect uh, another component, uh, make a bolted connection, make a constraint, or wh whatever purpose there may be uh, for that mesh point at that, point, at that surface. OK, so the loops, surface removal. Um, again, the surface removal allows us to remove things like uh, corner fillets. Uh, we could also use the surface removal to remove the uh, holes if we wanted to, but it's commonly used um, in this fashion right here. So we're going to go to our feature removal, and I'm going to change this to uh, surfaces. And I'm not going to go limit size right now. I am going to show you um, uh, something else here in just a minute with uh, the aggressive removal. So 
I'm going to just uh, say we'll grab that surface and you see how it removes it. It also updated the mesh. I'm going to undo that because if we have a uh, undo the removal, if we have all those curves and fillets in there, we can use our select dialog, grab one of those fillets and go pick and say add connected fillets. In a very useful um, to grab the select dialog in this case, and we get all of those at one time, and it moves them for us. Now you see this uh, limit size that works the same way with the loops that we saw uh, a few minutes ago. It's just going to limit uh, to surfaces less than the, the value you specify. But let's talk about this aggressive removal. There's sometimes when we go in here and we'll uh, we'll toggle our entity locator for this, and we're going to use uh, show short curves and we'll label them so that we can see them and if we zoom in here you'll see that those are part of very short little surfaces and we can go into all of these tools or most of them can be used in conjunction with one another so I can go in here and grab this not curves I'm looking for surfaces and I can grab that surface. Well, it didn't want to remove that. For some reason, it does the surface removal tool. It doesn't want to remove that surface that, that the locator found for us. So there's this aggressive removal option, and you have to be a little careful with this, because essentially what it does is it goes in here in geometry, solid, explode, and it explodes the geometry down into a collection of uh, sheet bodies or surfaces then deletes the surface and then stitches it back together with a stitching tolerance larger than the opening it created. So you can create some odd shaped geometry. So we got some unpredictable results there. So um, you'll want to use that aggressive removal sparingly um, when you need to use it. If we turn the aggressive removal back off, we can grab our dialog select and sometimes go around here and uh, grab some of our surfaces and we could get rid of some of those uh, corner fillets if we need to okay so that's the aggressive removal just be aware that um, if you're using the aggressive removal it can produce some unpredictable results and uh, you may want to to undo that you can also um, corrupt your geometry if you're not careful as well it just depends on the geometry as well. Okay, surface removal. Blends, this is one I especially like. Um, because instead of going through here and taking the feature removal and surfaces and grabbing both surfaces and removal, the blends is um, where the surfaces and the select is expecting you to grab a surface for removal. Uh, and we could go through here and grab all of these little corner fillets and remove those as well. But what the blends does is it expects you to select a solid. So if I grab uh, the blends command, and I can also limit size here as well, uh, if we chose to do so, uh, there's no need in this one. But you can limit blends to smaller than uh, an area you specify as well. So we can grab these, and you see it just takes out all of the, uh, and this is where you would, may want to limit size, because it takes out all of the sheet metal bends, plus it took out all of the small corner fillets or corner radii on, on the edges of the part as well. 